Let's talk about how to sell more things on eBay using numbers. So what I did is I pulled my uh, active listings report. I pulled my sold listings reports, the order report, uh, paid and shipped orders, not just all orders. And then I figured out between um, January 13th and May 1st or April 30th, how many things I sold on any given day and how many things I listed on any given day. Uh, originally, my first postcard batch was listed on January 12th, but I ended up uh, ending all those listings and relisting them. So to keep the data more uniform, I just omitted that day. Uh, across about four months, I sold about 700 postcards and I have about 35,000 listings in that time span. And so you can see here, Saturday, zero, zero, Sunday, zero, two. This is going to cause a little bit of an issue, but I'm hoping not very much. Uh, and the data does paint a pretty, um, it shows you what's going on. So I'm not really concerned about it. Uh, occasionally, I also would auction off things on Thursday. So there is a little bit of um, inconsistency there. But I don't think it's enough to ignore ignore this data. So let's see right now. Let me just expand this to show you. So this is the expanded data I've got right here. And it's going to show you average amount of listed per day, average sold by day, average uh, sold by day when I listed, average sold by day when I didn't list, the percent boost I got when I listed things, and the percent drop when there was no listings. And then finally, how often was I listing things? So like, as you can see, 62 things a day on Monday. Well, I only listed things three times out of the past about 90 days. So, you know, that just gives you more, more context into how these numbers are formed. Uh, I also wanted to say that the benefit of a new listing there's two benefits, I guess. The first thing is anyone who's following your store or following a search is going to be notified when those things are listed. So if I list postcards and it's uh, a postcard of a pine tree forest in Aiken, South Carolina, and someone's either following my store or maybe they have a safe search for Aiken, South Carolina, which would be a common you know, way of that would, that would occur they would um, either be notified via email or they would have uh, the option to view recent items on their phone under their safe searches. Uh, potentially, they could even be notifying customers that way. That's not really the main benefit for my business. Maybe it is for years, but for the way I sell things, not really. Um, the main benefit is you get a new listing. I call it a tag. Uh, if you've search something on eBay and you look it up and it says new listing next to the title. I think it's the title it's somewhere on the, the listing on eBay. It says new listing and you get that for 24 hours and that gives you a boost in search. There's a separate category called recently listed. It'll show up there. Uh, you want to have the new listing tag and it stays next to your item for 24 hours. So for 24 hours after you list something, uh, you're going to see it's going to get a boost in, in, in um, impressions. And that's what it really all boils down to is you want to get your items in front of as many people's eyes as possible. And one of the ways you can do that is by listing things. Uh, and be, when they're listed, they get a new listing tag and then it shows up in more searches. Um, and that's kind of why we see, if you look at this, uh, there is somewhat of a delay in the, benefit um, of listing things. So what is notable about this, the data I have here? Well, on every day, except Wednesday, I sell more things uh, when I'm listing. Now, why do I sell more things on Wednesday when I'm not listing? I have no idea. Um, no clue at all. I would guess it has to do with it being in the middle of the week. So there's so any benefit of listing uh, earlier in the week has worn off, but I don't know. Um, it could just be randomness, you know, amongst consumer habits. It could be that on <laughs> Tuesday and Wednesday, I list worse things. I list weirder things because they're not part of my postcard workflow. It's like one-off stuff that I have to look up. 
and I do a bad job looking it up. I don't know. Um, I'm leaning towards the idea that probably it's just randomness in the data and that there's not really a, a benefit to not listing. Because every other day, we're seeing between, I guess there's a 1% boost on Tuesday. But uh, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the lowest boost is 116% on Monday. And the highest boost is 160% on Thursday. So let's say about a 30% boost in sales across the board when you list on that day. And that's mostly because you're either listing early in the day or you've listed the day before. I mean, really what I should do is figure out what the actual benefit the day after a listing is because 24 hours, at least the way I run my business, I'm not listing things in the morning. I'm listing things typically around like 7 p.m. Uh, is when I'll do my bulk upload on like a Saturday or a Sunday or a Friday. Uh, but mostly I'll do my chores for the day and then I'll go to my warehouse and I'll prep for Monday um, and I'll scan postcards. That's kind of how it works. So I understand seeing the biggest uh, benefit or the most like sales increase in terms of numbers occurring on Sunday and Monday, but I'm not really surprised by any of the data. Uh, what other things are you curious about? I think the next like segue that a lot of people would ask is what about free shipping versus other kinds of shipping? Uh, and I'm not going to test that because I would lose money. I am without a doubt. I am hundred percent positive that offering free shipping gets you more sales. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, there's more of an argument uh, about if it's the right choice for your business. If you're shipping very heavy things, I mean, obviously, when you use calculated shipping on eBay, they're charging customer the retail rate. So you might make a little bit more money in a very competitive market when people are just bidding on the price of the value and they're taking the cost to ship it as just like a pain <laughs> that, that they can't that they can't adjust. But for postcards where shipping is only 64 cents to buy uh, the, the shipping and then the cost of the envelope and the cost of everything, uh, the, the label, you know, and the gas to go to the, to the uh, post office is pretty marginal. I just don't see a benefit in adding shipping because I know I've done this before. I've had videos on this in the past. I didn't have this level of granular data, but just seeing 2 million more impressions occur on my store when I have everything as free shipping versus shipping added um, is overwhelming evidence. So I'm not going to test that. But if there are other things you're curious about, let me know in the comments and I will test those. Uh, just some help for you. If your business is struggling, your eBay business is not doing well, list more things. Um, I know it isn't always that easy, but that is a way that you can, uh, I don't want to say game, eBay's search algorithm, but a way that you can work, you know, to mutual benefit uh, with eBay to sell more things. Hope you like this, guys. Subscribe if you do. I'll see you later.